like a couple times a week. Um, what is it you're doing here? We're giving out uh, anarchist pamphlets. Uh, you're just giving them out? Yeah, they're free. Cool. Uh, are people taking them? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So uh, what kind of things do you have here at this table? So, I mean, we've got a variety of things. We've got, um, this is a short story by Mark Twain where uh, he uh, satirizes Congress, basically. They, uh, they get into a, a train wreck in the snowy woods in the middle of the night and um, they s decide to start eating each other. And they, um, they go about deciding who's going to get eaten following parliamentary procedure. <laughs> Very interesting. And now, what sort of range of years is this literature? Is it all modern? You mentioned there's Mark Twain, so... Right. so there's Mark Twain, there's Proudhon, who wrote, you know, in the mid-1800s, and, uh, um, some of it's more recent, like David Graeber and Derek Jensen and, uh, Jer Jeremy, ha Jeremy Hammond. This scene is, uh, very new. This guy, um, Hacked into Stratford and um, released the allegedly. information. Allegedly, hacked into Stratford and uh, Stratford. They're, they're uh, a Israel something. No, it's a it's a British firm. They're a oh. private. They're like a private contractor associated with the Central Intelligence. That's agency. right. Okay, yeah. And um, so he leaked the information through WikiLeaks, and he's being held. Here in Manhattan, um, he's been held for over a year, still pre-trial. This is what they call a speedy trial. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there was recently, um, there was recently a, a court event for him uh, last week, I think, last Wednesday it was. Like a uh, hearing or something? Yeah, some kind of hearing, and so activists packed the court, and there was a noise demo at the prison where he's being held the night before. Um, noise demo, you know, you go out and you make a lot of noise, and you get the prisoners all excited. That means a lot to the prisoners, I can tell you, from being on the inside, yeah. when they see people outside, and they know that they're there to support the people inside, right. even if they are like totally unrelated to the person being supported uh, right. it's really uh, encouraging for the people on the inside if only to break up the monotony of the day to day right so that's great were you a part of the noise demonstration i wasn't there no I had okay other things to do but um but my friends were there busy guy yeah so tell me what you're doing here today uh, besides handing out the literature what, you know what's I mean, going that's... on what, what's behind you Oh, so well, behind me is an event called Anarchy NYC. It's um, it's an event um, for uh, people who identify as anarcho-capitalists mainly, I guess, um, but market anarchists more broadly. Uh, so there's a lot of speakers. There are some bands. Uh, really great band, Rebel Link, is going to play tonight. Woo! Um, and your your point, you're gesturing, but it looks like the Rebel Inc. Van is is right behind us, so right. that's what you're gesturing towards. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of stuff going on today, and it's an event mostly for ANCAPs. Right. All right. Cool. Uh, anything else? Uh, where can people learn? Who are you, and where can people learn about more about what you're doing here today? Okay. So, um, right. My name's Rocco, and I'm with a group called The New World in Our Hearts. Um, you can find us at inourhearts.org inourhearts.org and um, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram all under In Our Hearts and what is the, the name on Facebook? In, in Our Hearts it's In a, Our Hearts it's a profile so it's like a fake person oh okay in, cool in so it's not even the first name Hearts is the last name there you go alright thanks so much Rocco thank you Fridays in Brooklyn, we do a free store, which is like a... Oh, wait. Tell me about the free store. So the, the free store is like a pop-up shop. Um, so it's like a second-hand store where everything is free. People bring things and people take things, and there's no there's no exchange. There's no, um, I'll give you this for that. There's no barter, no buying things with money. It's all strictly, you know, everything there is free. We don't accept donations or anything. It's now, what about the tragedy of the commons or... Um you know, any of these economic problems that people say will develop if you just give away things for free. Well, um... Have you seen any of that? Sure. I mean, there are, there are some people who, uh, you know, show up and they might, you know, 
Well, I mean, the whole nature of the thing is that it's okay for everyone just to just take. Um, and so, I mean, some of the difficult things are when people um, people take a lot or people um, take things and send it back home. People, uh, I mean, our main concern is that people don't sell the things, usually, that they take. Because um, the whole idea is to build a gift economy, and so if you're, you know, taking things and then turning around and selling it on Craigslist, that sort of defeats the purpose Got it. of what we're doing. Now, John Bush was talking a little bit about a gift economy, but to you, is that just people exchanging things um, that are not money? It's, um, or, or just gifting things without an expectation of exchange? Right. So it's more that um, people would, it's more goods circulating through a community. Um, without there being any direct exchange. Got it. Yeah. Well, where can people learn more about that? Um, oh, that's done through In Our Hearts. Right, yeah. That's okay, all. so they can learn more about that. A new world in our hearts. Here. That's our contact info. Oh, perfect. All right, so I'll just freeze frame on that for a little bit. Great. Awesome. This is perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you.